next you can see actually we have the lux level what is mean by lux lux is actually the amount of brightness required in the room like you can see i am in a classroom so in my classroom i need some specific amount of brightness so as to work so as to deliver so here i need minimum 300 amount of lux minimum i mean to say so if you're having minimum 300 amount of flux, then the presentation will be good. Then you'll be getting the interest to work as well as you'll be not getting any kind of flicker also in the eye. So these are the things. Whenever if you have a good quality of brightness in the room. So as per the national bidding codes and standards, they have given some specific lux values. Okay, so these lux values we are going to use in the future classes. Okay, when we are going to work with lighting calculations in the chapter eight. So LX is a symbolic form for the LUX. LUX is a symbolic form for the LUX. Like when you're working with any project and not specifying the project name, you'll be finding the corridor passageway. In that case, you should have the 100 amount of LUX. Means 100 is the amount of brightness. So to achieve this 100, as per the room geometry based upon the lumen output of the lamp, how many number of lamps or how many number of fixtures we need, that we are going to check. Again, the lift, 150 staircase 150 excretors 150 like i'll be showing you one of the uh, lux meter you can see this is actually the lux meter it's almost like your uh, uh, multimeter device okay which comes into your palm very easily so this will give you the amount of lux how much amount of brightness you have so once okay you have installed all your fixtures so your qaqc people or your testing people will come and they are going to check the amount of flux is getting satisfied or not from your artificial light sources only so based upon this lux values only you are going to calculate the number of lamps and lighting fixtures so this these topics are actually the uh, this is actually the reference topic when we go with the future calculations in the chapter eight so right now for instance please go with all this value remember that higher the lux value more will be the amount of brightness like you can see here i have given the thousand amount of lux for a fine work fine work means what when you're going to work when you're going to carve anything when you're going to work in a very detailed manner there if the amount of light is more then you can able to work very clearly like especially the goldsmith when he is going to make an ornament so you can see that exactly on the top of the table nearby to his hand he'll be finding a lamp why because he is going to work very precisely the same thing for the wooden carpenters also okay when they are going to make any kind of carvings when you're going to make any kind of designs they are going to work in a broad daylight with some more amount of brightness so all those values are specified over here so i want you all to please go with this four pages right now in the class so that you'll be getting the overall outline knowledge this concept is very very helpful for you and very very important for you when you are going to work with the calculation to find out number of lamps so please go through Mm-hmm.